If you want to engage with your website visitors more effectively and start boosting your conversions, one of the best ways that you can do that is by implementing a chatbot. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to build a chatbot in HubSpot, have it customized to your business, help you qualify leads and engage with your customers, all without writing a single line of code. Hi, I'm Angel. I'm a marketing specialist working in tech, and this is how to HubSpot. If you want to follow along, you can actually start building your chatbot for free with HubSpot. So make sure you check out the link below. There are so many reasons why chatbots are essential to businesses today. A chatbot allows you to automate your responses to common inquiries, meaning you can engage with your customers 24 seven, even if your team is offline. Chatbots can also help guide your visitors through a journey on your website, always ensuring that they have the best customer experience while also freeing up your team for more important tasks. To get started with building your chat box, you first have to make sure you have a chat channel connected to your conversations inbox or your help desk. This is where your chatbot's interactions will be managed. To do this, head up to the gear icon on the top of the page. Then we're going to scroll down until you see inbox and help desk. We're going to go to inboxes. If you see chat under channels, then you're good to go. But if not, you can click connect a channel and get started from there. It'll give you the options of team email, forms, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, or even calling so that you can personalize it to your business's needs. Now let's head over to automations and chat flows to get started with our chatbot. Let's quickly go over the different types of chatbots and how they can help you. Depending on your type of business and the unique needs that you might have, there are a bunch of pre-built chatbots that you can use. You have the option of a concierge bot. This helps visitors navigate your site and find the most relevant information in pages. You also have stuff like a qualified leads bot. This bot asks key questions to determine whether they're a qualified lead, and if they are, it'll send them straight to the sales team. The meeting bot will help your visitors book meetings, or you have a couple of support-related bots if your visitors need help. You can always start from scratch and custom build your bot to your needs as well. I personally think that having a leads qualification bot is super important to make sure you're directing your customers to the right people, so that's what we're going to build today. Once you've selected the type of chatbot, it's time to start customizing it. So we're going to start with our welcome message. This is going to be the first message that visitors see from your chatbot. Next, you can start to add different actions based on how you want the conversation to flow. Since we picked the leads qualification bot, it's going to ask some questions to evaluate their needs. Asking what they would like to do can help guide them to a specific resource. Asking them questions about their company can give you powerful insights to use in your marketing campaigns. And of course, we want to make sure we're taking down their contact information as well, because if they're hitting your chatbot, it probably means they want to get in touch with you. If you want to edit any of the questions or fields, you can click the box and it'll give you all of the options to make adjustments. Or you can go ahead and add another action as well. There are so many different options. Simple messages are just standard responses to customer inquiries. The if then branch allows you to create paths based on the customer's response. For example, if a customer says they are interested in pricing, you can lead them to a pricing page. You can even set contact property values, which allows you to add customer details to specific fields in your CRM. And you can see there are a ton of other options as well. So once you have your chatbot set up, it's really going to act like a personal receptionist, keeping both you and your customers happy. When you're happy with the questions from your chatbot, you can head over to the target tab to decide when this is going to show up for customers. This will help to ensure that you're engaging your customers with the right message at the right time. You can also add an avatar for your chatbot under the display tab. Whether you want to have it as a little robot or you want to add the image of someone from your team, you can decide how you want to personalize the look and feel based on what you think will make your customers happy. Lastly, make sure you go over to the options tab and set a generic error message just in case something goes wrong. I personally like to make this a little bit more casual just to lighten the mood. Being able to automate your conversations, qualify your leads and improve your customer experience all without needing any coding skills is a pretty sweet deal, whether you're a business owner or a marketer. I love that HubSpot is able to make all of this happen. So whether you're trying to boost your engagement or streamline your customer support, make sure to give HubSpot a try for free by clicking the link below. Leave a comment down below and let me know what tutorial you want to see next, but I'm Angel and I'll see you in the next video.